And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. Now, we all know we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of hip hop, and there are many facets to hip hop. It's not simply music, it's also the dance, but you can't forget about, in the beginning of the game, the jewelry. So we stopped by Jimmy the Jeweler to talk about the history of jewelry in hip hop. Take a look. The music is, is the most important thing, you know, the jewelry and everything that's a part of the culture, just like the clothes and stuff. But, you know, everybody has their own style. You know, there's different genres of hip hop now, and it just makes it even more well-rounded and amazing. Mm -hmm. Do you miss the big rope chain days? I you do. Could, you could ring them up. I remember the days we used to wear the chains like long to here, and you sit in the car and it's on your lap. I'm not going to lie, you know, but, you know. The shorter, you know, and, and it's everybody with the preference now, you know, so. Definitely. And so what has Houston's influence been on? Is it the grills? Where has Houston played a significant role when it comes to jewelry and hip hop? I think as far as Houston, definitely the grills, especially the grills with the diamonds. I feel like um, the Southern, the South is where we really started putting the diamonds on the gold to, to give it the spark on the flash look as far as when it started, when it was just all gold. <laughs> so I definitely feel like definitely the grills, but the diamonds on the grills is the biggest thing that we did in Houston that separated us from everybody else. And of course, one of your clients, Takashi 6 9 has had the high profile grills and change and stuff that you you've all created. When you see that making headlines, what do you think about that as a jeweler who created those things for it? Um, it's a beautiful thing. The most beautiful thing is to be able to uh, see your work being, um, you know, shown and, and, and to get recognition for the work, you know what I mean? The detail and the labor and just the process. It's, it's not an easy thing and each jeweler I feel is different in their own way as an artist, you know? So to be able to put my art out there and to be embraced and accepted for it and loved for it is such an amazing feeling. And do many people get that it's art? It's just not a craft? a uh, craft or skill, it's art, something yeah. that you've created. I feel, um, I feel as a part of the culture, it's definitely become an art now. You know, you, you, you see certain um, jewelry pieces that will automatically connect to that artist. When you see it, you know it went from them. Um, there are still, you know, people that do it, just not as an art. But for me and, and my passion and how I got involved, it's definitely an art. And every day I'm always trying to push the envelope. And there are other jewelers I see that do the same thing, push the envelope to try to see how far we can go on, on designing and making these things even more creative than ever. When it comes to jewelry and the future of hip hop, what do you see your role? Um, to continue to make, you know, beautiful pieces and jewelry that, you know, can speak for other artists. Um, I feel like there are a lot of artists that a lot of jewelry we make for them represents who they are. So we won't even, sometimes they don't even have to speak for themselves, the jewelry speaks for them. And those are my favorite um, projects that I really got to do is to sit down, get to know the artists and really bring to life their thoughts and how they feel inside without them even knowing or speaking on it.